the Lord is saying to me, this lady is about to encounter the favor of God like never before. Wow, amen. In fact, the Lord says she's been praying for the favor of God. She's been asking God for favor. And I hear the Lord say to me, the absence of favor has limited so much in her life. The absence of favor. As, I don't know if I pronounce your name correctly, but the name that I see is Sanzi Sile. Uh, permit me if I don't get that right. I'm a typical Nigerian boy, you know. Huh? But the Lord is showing me, sweetheart, the Lord is showing me that the absence of favor in fact you've been crying for favor you've been crying to God for favor I sense the mighty presence of God in your room as I speak right now and, and I see like favor enveloping you enveloping you as I'm talking you can sense it in your room right now there's a mighty presence of God pastor I can tell you I can sense it where I am here, right here there's a mighty presence of God like an envelope it's enveloping you you know when the Bible says the Lord will surround the righteous with favor. Surround. That's exactly what I'm seeing around there now. There's a mighty enveloping presence of God around your life. And the Lord is saying to me, I shall announce to you the beginning of a season of favor like you've never seen in the history of your life. The Lord said what you have worked hard for and you didn't even get. The Lord said you watch and see. In fact, you even thought that you will not get it again. But the Spirit of the Lord is saying I shall announce to you that that which you thought you won't get again the lord said i should let you know that it's coming back and Amen. that which you don't think you can get this is very strange the Lord said that which you thought you will not be able to get. The Lord said I should tell you yeah. favor is also bringing it into your life. Amen. You've come into the season of unusual favor. And, and, I, and I see by virtue of favor, thank you Lord Jesus, glory be to God. Amen. By virtue of the favor of God at work in your life, uh -huh. the Lord is beginning to say to me, San Cecilia, yeah. the Lord is saying I should tell you that from this moment, watch out for one word, speed. Oh, amen. Watch out for speed. Hallelujah. Yes, because again, I see that I, in the season, I see that you've been you've been worried over the fact that your 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 age. When you look at your age, you are beginning to feel that you are aging, and there are, I see like you have a list of things you should have accomplished by now, and you're feeling like I've not accomplished them, and they are beginning to make you feel very very down. But the Lord said to me, I will do all of them within a short time. Amen. The favor of God will make all of that happen. Amen. I see that you're quite emotional about this. Talk to me. What's going on? Thank you, Pastor Sam. I yes, think yes. everything you've said has been my thoughts for the while and my my prayers. My prayers definitely. I'm um, today when we were praying for favor and the mercy, you know, I keyed into it because you know, favor is that differentiating factor. Mercy is that unmerited grace, you know. And the only way to get it is through prayer and it's been my prayer i even prayed may pastor sam locate me today and sure wow. enough i'm the first person that you started with today and um yes what you said about uh the prayers of age um is it too late for certain things you know god has been great in many areas of my life um in others i do worry about the age factor or why is there certain delays and um i must say that in the weeks proceeding to this leading up to this i have been getting glimpses of favor that have been overwhelming me where you know i'm chosen and i'm selected for certain things and it's been god it's definitely been god so my god for you to say this today now is definitely a confirmation and when you said that his power is in my room right now i cannot explain to you the overwhelming enveloping that i feel right now Thank wow you so much for them. Thank you. It's your it's season. Your season. Father, we Father, thank you for the confirmation of your word over this you. woman's life. Thank you, we thank you because she's entered into the season of speed. Amen. Sweetheart, watch this carefully. You've entered into a season of speed. Amen. Things will begin to happen swiftly and quickly. Amen. Amen. And please treasure and protect the favor of God. Treasure and protect the favor of God in your life. Treasure it. Don't let anything make you lose the favor and the don't let anything make you lose it treasure and protect the favor and the mercy of God over your life treasure it live the kind of life that will make you be a good host to the favor of God let the favor of God tell God let let favor go to meet God and say God I like it in San Zili's house let favor go to tell God I like to stay there be a good host to the presence of the Lord. Be a good host to the favor of God.
Glory be to God. Thank you, Father. And concerning age issues, the Lord said I should just tell you, watch and see speed. Oh. Don't let that bother you at all. It's over. Thank you, Father. We give you the praise in the name of Jesus Christ. My, my attention is drawn quickly. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I don't know who Lisu Yem is. Lisu Yem. Lisu Yem. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Lisu Yem, I don't know what is the door you've been praying to God to open, but the Lord is saying, I should tell you that that season has come when definitely, because I, I just saw you've been praying for a door to open it. I don't know what door you've been praying for, but the Lord is saying to me, I should tell you that you've been praying for a particular door. Because what I see, sir, I see her. She, she's almost like in a kneeling position. And in the spirit, what I saw was that you are kneeling before a door. And you are just simply saying, Lord, let this door open. Let this door open. And mysteriously, whilst you were in that kneeling position and you were saying, let this door open. I don't know what kind of door it is. I don't know what it is you want to see God open up. Just when you were doing that, the next thing I saw was a mighty hand open it from the other side. Hallelujah. From Hallelujah. the other side. Hallelujah. From the other side. Hallelujah. And the Lord is saying to me, whatever is going on in your life in this season, I hear the Lord saying to me, I'm opening up that door. It, it, it's a door for your family. It's a door for your family. This is a big door. This is a very significant door for the family. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I see that you're, you're nodding your head. What's going on? Talk to me, ma'am. We need to pray about that. Morning, Pastor. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma God bless you, Pastor. Thank you so much for being part of my life. Thank you for being a blessing to me, sir. About two weeks ago, I was opportune for you to call me out, you know, and talk to me. But I was so overwhelmed that I couldn't even say anything. But I thank God today that you're able to call me out again. Uh, so I've been praying for a breakthrough. Um, I applied for a contract with the defense headquarters here in Abuja. I've submitted all the requirements they needed from me. By now, I'm, they're supposed to have called me, but up till now, I've not heard anything from them. So I'm at the peak of, you know, I'm at the peak of, I don't know, I'm at the peak of giving up. No, no, no. But I believe, I believe that it's going to work out for me because <laughs> I am so, 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 so tired. Wow. Of my life it has been a life of struggle. I don't know. I, I don't just know. It's been struggle, struggle. Anytime something is about to happen, to just slip away from my hand. So I feel wow. that this contract is about to slip away from my hand. But I don't want, I don't to, want believe to believe that. that. Lisa. 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 So, Lisa, Lisa, God saw you. Lisa, I said I saw you kneeling down and I saw in the spirit you were before a door and you were praying and crying that this door be open, Lisa. I saw that you were trying, praying and crying that this door be open and it seems like this door is not opening. But Lisa, I said I saw a hand from inside open the door for you. Lisa, the Lord is saying I should tell you. Ah. Somebody in the ministry of defense has been mandated by God. There is somebody. Can everybody stretch your hands in the hands of... You are not giving up. No, no, no. This one is not slipping through your hands. Ah, amen. This will not slip through your hands. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because I know how important this breakthrough is yes. to you. This will change your family. Ah. This will change your family. I know how important it is. And the Lord is saying to me, I'll put the burden on somebody in the military. Somebody high ranking in the military. And I hear the Lord saying, the person will call you. Amen. And the person will from inside influence yes. the opening of the door. Amen. So the help will come from inside. Amen. The Lord has put the burden. And, and Lisa, let me say something to you. This is amazing. Lisa, this is shocking. The Lord said I should tell you that the person that I'm going to use that will be willing to help you yeah. to open the door from inside. The Lord said the person is not doing you good. The Lord said, by helping you, I will change the life of the person. Hey, the Lord said, I will lift the person to a position the person has been praying for. Amen. So helping you will open the door for the person yes, to amen. occupy the most important position in the person's career. Amen. That is what the Spirit of the Lord is telling me. 
So this is not the time for you to give up. We speak in the name of Jesus, help from inside. Amen. The Lord opened the door for you from inside. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, our God and Father. Hallelujah. There is something the Lord is saying to me. I'm, there's a name called Deborah. Deborah. And, and I have just 15 minutes to go. Deborah. Deborah, yes, Deborah. I think the Lord just keep pushing you again. I think I've ministered to Deborah yes, before. Yes. I don't know why the Lord is bringing you again to me right now. And, and, I'm, and I'm hearing the Lord said, I will do it again. Amen. Uh, I, I will do it again. I'm, I'm just hearing the word, I will do it again. The Lord is saying, I have done it before. And the Lord said, I will do it again. Amen. And the Lord is saying, I will do it bigger than you have seen it before. Amen bigger than you've seen it before amen so what that, what god is telling me right now is that there's something you are asking god for that god has done something similar before and the lord is saying i will do it again amen. and it will be bigger than what it was before amen in the name of jesus christ what is happening in your space my husband has been out of job now for, my god. Uh, four years four years, four years. Four years. Four years. Four they years for no reason. An appointment, and they said they were going to call him, and they never did. For four for years. Four years. Yes. Has God Has ever blessed God him with a job him. before? Yes, he was. He was the top. He's always going up, always up, up in every job he has. God has always God. given him top jobs before. Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> did you hear what the Lord said? I didn't know about that. But the Lord said, I should tell you, he will do it again. Amen. And the Lord Ooh. said, it's going to be bigger Amen. and better Amen. than whatever it is. Amen. I hear four years restoration coming. Amen. Four years restoration yes. coming. Amen. Tell your husband, tell your husband, tell your husband not to sink into depression. Yeah. That man is losing himself gradually. That man is gradually losing himself. Tell your husband to stir up himself. For I see that the Lord is opening. It's going to be mega. It's Amen. going to be bigger. Amen. Yes. I hear the Lord say four years restoration in one job. Amen. It's going to be bigger. Amen. Glory be to God. He said he has done it before. Yes. God said he will do it again. Yes. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you. Isn't that amazing? Yes, I just kept hearing tell her. Yes. I did it before. Uh -huh. Is something I'm going to do again. Amen. Father, we give it the glory and the praise. Amen. Thank you, Father. Can we just lift our hands to the Father, everybody? Just give him praise, if you would. Just, just give him praise. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I don't know why the Spirit of the Lord will not let me go away from, even though he didn't put his name, I don't know why the Lord will not let me go away from him. Head of procurement. <laughs> Head of procurement. Supply units. Supply. Jesus, help me with this head of procurement. <laughs> Are you somebody I prayed for before? No. You are head of procurement. <laughs> oh God. So so head of procurement. I see things you want to procure. <laughs> see, God has a sense of humor. Eh? I see things you want to purchase. And I see right now, if, if we are to extray you now, your greatest prayer request, request is for money. Because I see that there are things, projects you want to accomplish. You've been cracking your head. You've been cracking your head, looking for God, where, how can I get money, including doing extra job? If there's a way I can do job out of this office, because when you look at your income versus what you want to do, head of procurement, I see that the current income from procurement won't deal with that thing we're talking about. So right now, don't let your office members know I'm talking to you. Uh -huh. Greet them. Don't let them know. You... <laughs> Oh God. Yeah, he's you better just do that. He has to escape. <laughs> huh? He wants to lock the door. <laughs> Lift your heads, everybody. Vincent. God bless you. God bless you, Vincent. God bless you, Vincent. So, head of procurement, you went to lock the door, right? Yes, <laughs> All right. So, so what the Lord is showing me, sir, is that 
I see that there's quite a number of things like projects you want to accomplish. And I see that right now in your heart, there's a major prayer that God will bless you financially. And truly, these projects, I see them, they are very fam they are serious family sensitive projects. That's what I hear in my spirit. They are family sensitive projects. And they are projects that are very necessary for the advancement of the family. Yes, so and I see that you truly need that this uh, resource. Uh, it's just that the current income does not match that particular stuff. So I'm hearing you cry to God for financial favor specifically. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that I'm going to do it in a mysterious way. And uh, please hear me and hear me very well. The Lord said, I will open up an opportunity. It's going to come through a friend. You're going to render consulting services. And I hear the Lord saying to me, and through that, I will remarkably bless you. Amen. Yes. The Lord said, it's going to come through a friend. You're going to render a consulting service. And don't let the people at work know. But the Lord said, I'm going to uh, bless you in a very remarkable way. And it's going to come through a friend that will open up a door. I, I see you rendering special service and income coming from that place. And the bills be met. It's going to be very huge. It's going to be huge. What is going to come from that consulting service is going to be very, very huge. And I see literally your projects being taken care of. I notice you're excited about it. Tell me what's going on. Okay. Uh, it has been my desire. I've, I've been uh, saving to try to buy some plots so that I can have uh, a very big project. I'm doing uh, some farming somewhere. It's not doing well. Then uh, I want also to enter into, I have like a small company where I'm doing some construction. It's not going well because I, I, I don't have uh, enough resources. So I've been applying for other jobs, trying to leave this institution. Then uh, on the other day, I was called for the interviews. Today, I have an interview at nine hours. It is done, it is for, done you. for you. It is done. I see that you have a list of things you want to do. I can see <laughs> I can see list of things that you have before you and all of that depends on financial favor. And the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ opened that door for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. I decree and declare supernatural release of finances, funding for your vision, for your dreams, Amen. Amen. everything you want to do, your building, the farming, and all of that. The Lord provide the resources for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I release such help in your direction right Amen. now. In Jesus' mighty name, we'll pray. Amen, amen and amen. amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you and show you favor. Amen. At the interview of today, the Lord bless you and grant you favor Amen. in Jesus' mighty name. I, I see. Thank you very much. I see Mr. Vincent. Mr. Vincent, I see a connection with you. Whilst I was praying for a um, head of procurement, I see a connection with you, Sam. And literally, sir, what I saw, permit me to see this. I, I, what I saw was I literally saw like a cup and instead of water in the cup, what I saw was oil. And I saw the oil dripping over the cup, dripping over the cup, dripping over the cup. The oil just keep pouring out of the cup. What is amazing to me, sir, uh, this is still a mystery as I'm even talking to you right now. What is the mystery to me is that I'm trying to see where the oil is coming from. Because the cup just keep pouring out oil, but I can't see where the oil is coming from. And as I inquire from the Lord, the Lord said to me in the past, the Lord said, I have blessed you in a little way. And he said, the Lord said, I should tell you that you made some mistakes because you went to reveal the source of your, uh, your blessing. You revealed it to somebody who sabotaged you. Oh. Yes, the Lord said, you are somebody who is very liberal. You like to tell people how things happen. And the Spirit of the Lord is saying in this season, He said, I'm bringing a dimension of blessing on your life. And the Lord said, it will be beyond the knowledge of human beings how it happens. In fact, the Lord is saying to me, I am going to start blessing you in such a way that even yourself will not be able to explain the how. Oh. Yeah, because the Lord said, you are a generous person oh, and in explaining how, the Lord said, you always push yourself into problem. But what I'm about to do now, it's going to be an overflow without explanation. Amen. Yes. Ooh. The Lord said, I'm about to bless you in a very big way. Yeah, yeah. It's going to, and I know the Lord said, you've been crying. You've been praying for change of, uh -huh. I hear that in my spirit. The Lord said, you've been praying for change of level change of level change of level you've been praying for change of level i don't know what it is about a building project i see that there's a building project uh, there's a building you want to give, do uh, there's a house you want to get and the lord is saying in this season of the overflow the lord is saying i should tell you the, the issue of the building will be sorted out supernaturally Amen. in jesus 
Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I see you're almost jumping out of your room. What's going on there, sir? Yeah, um, man of God, you're, you're spot on. You're spot on. <laughs> you're a um, I'm speaking to you from Australia. My God. And my God. Um, to be honest with you, where I just arrived in Australia last month, and instead of me to start doing well, looking for jobs, I was diagnosed of of um, of uh, uh, blood clots no. in my vein, which is em embolism. Yes, and yes. I ended up in, I ended up in emergency hmm. for one week. Hmm. Hmm. Instead of looking for a job, I was in, on 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 Masha medication. I was, also, I was on oxygen, battling for life. But by the grace of God, the grace of God, I was joining this commission. The grace of God located me, and I left the hospital, and I'm better right now. Glory be to God. Until then, no, something that normally people enter Australia and say that job everywhere, everything just locked up. My God. For the first time, I attended interview today. Today, today, today. today. Yes. So I I joined yesterday, and you spoke about. Uh, people getting offer those that have interviewed i have said the interview today and i'm believing god for his mighty name yes, yes and also my family i submitted application their this application my god, for, god. to join me here in australia to be honest with you i've traveled to uk i've traveled to canada i've traveled to us my god i god. travel when i want but the day i took that decision that I want to travel out, everything lost. <laughs> I can no longer procure visa to travel. Everything expired. Visa, US expired, Canada expired. I could not travel <sighs> out. Jesus. I was battling to travel out the way. I just momentarily decided to just okay, let me apply for Australia and it happened and I moved. I just entered and everything has not it looks at him. Hell has rained on me but i'm believing god for his oil as you have spoken so shall it be so i want my wife my family visa to be released and let them join me i want this job that i applied let me get it because every week i save seventy thousand rent every week and i have to depend on bringing in money from nigeria <laughs> unlike those that have entered you know I'm believing God for his mighty sir, sir, sir. I saw, I saw the, the cock. I saw the oil running over. And the Lord said, this time around, you will not even know where it's coming from. Here is something I want to tell you, sir. Look at your history and learn one lesson. Learn to stay quiet about what God is doing oh. in your life. Are you hearing me, sir? Your family is coming to join you. Your family, don't worry about that. Your family is coming to join you. I wish your wife is online now. Your wife is a woman God has given to you to learn to make you keep things quiet. But you are a very lively, you like to just share what God, you are a happy person. My friend, make you come and enjoy. The Lord, <laughs> tell me what is he saying? I need to hear this. <laughs> Today, even today, immediately after the interview, while I was sharing, you know, because as, as God may have it, I don't know how God is miracle. They were even asking me, you are a student visa. Can we change your visa for you to a permanent visa? And I said yes. When I came out, I was telling my wife, and my wife said, keep quiet. <laughs> don't, tell, don't tell anybody. <laughs> don't, don't tell anybody. Because in the past, I almost became a senior manager in my former employment. And suddenly the enemy struck. Uh -huh. From senior manager, I almost lost. I was begging to remain in the business. Uh -huh. Please don't stop me. Let me go back to where I came from. And that has, that has been how I went back. Even though I helped to join the business, we are fighting to keep me out of the business. God for his oil. Now that you've spoken of this oil, share the oil on your mother. In the name of it is it. Hear me and hear me well. Hear me and hear me well, Mr. Vincent. The Lord is saying again, I should tell you, that the oil, I'm seeing the cup and the oil is overflowing. And as I look under to see where the oil is coming from, the Lord did not let me see it. I'm your pastor. 
I'm speaking to you. God did not let me to see it. And I said, Lord, why? He said, this man talks a lot about what I'm doing in his life. But I have given him a wife that tries to keep him quiet. And you are always having issue with your wife. And I didn't know your wife has also told you to keep quiet today. Today. You've only attended interview today. Now you want to start calling friends. Bro, so I don't attend interview. Keep quiet. Are you hearing me? From now onward, your new name is Zechariah. Keep quiet until you see your baby. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Keep quiet until miracles happen. My wife has an adage. She said, let the pregnancy speak. Stop talking about the pregnancy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so the Lord said, I should tell you, keep quiet. Let the Lord do the job. Only tell your wife and your man of God. Outside of that, even when you get the job, no announcement. Uh -huh. Let those who thought you are finished, let people who thought you are dead, uh -huh. let them think you are dead. Uh -huh. Joseph was quiet for over 20 something years. Uh -huh. He could trek back home when God began to bless him. Uh -huh. Joseph did not trek home to go and tell them God is blessing me. Uh -huh. For 20 something years, he kept quiet until the appointed time. I hear the Lord said, what I'm about to do in your life in Australia over the next seven years. The Lord said, I'm bringing your wife because that woman is needed. The Lord said, you don't even need to pray. That woman is your savior. The Lord said, I'm bringing her because of you. And the Lord said, for the next seven years, keep quiet. Let those who think you are dead, let them think you are dead. Don't be in a hurry to announce yourself. It is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I thank you for this man. And I thank you for what you are doing in his life. Thank you, Father, because this man will allow his wife to begin to speak into his life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I decree that success will not make you forget the need to be quiet. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we we'll pray. Amen. amen and amen. God bless you, sir. The oil is flowing. Amen. The oil has come. The oil has come. Amen. The job has come. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be collecting money from Nigeria. You will be paying from Australia. And I will see you in September. I'm coming to Australia in September. All right? <laughs>
in the name of Jesus Christ I thank you Father God Almighty thank you my father thank you my father okay so here's what I just see Kirago around you you know I'm just looking at an eggshell and almost the Lord is just taking me into an eagle's nest the Lord just took me into an eagle's nest I don't know what it is between you and eagles but then the Lord just took me into an eagle's nest and the next thing that I saw I saw the the egg of an eagle cracking and the next thing I see is the eaglet emerging and as I gave my attention to that to ask the Lord what is going on the Lord says son concentrate on the shell before you focus on the eaglet and as I concentrate on the shell the Lord said remember that the egg shell is hard he said but from it shall emerge the eaglet and the Lord is saying in this season the Lord is saying, I should tell you, you are coming out of a very difficult situation. Amen. I hear the Lord saying to me, what surrounds you that looks like difficulty? The Lord said, I am birthing something superior, something amazing out of the current condition and situation you find yourself in. I see the emergence of an eaglet from a, the shell of an eagle. Meaning the shell is hard, but then the eaglet is coming out of it. The Lord said, what has surrounded you will not suppress you. The Lord said, in this season, I put a new grace upon your life and I'm bringing you out of the circumstance and the situation that you are in. And as I look at now the eaglet, I said, Lord, what meaneth this? And the Spirit of the Lord said, I should tell you that you are like the resemblance of that eaglet. The Lord said, you are meant for high places, not where you are right now. <laughs> the Lord said you are meant for greater places not where you are the Lord said you know it on the inside of you and the Lord said you've been in a season of discontent and dissatisfaction the Lord said you've been in a moment where you're feeling uneasy where you are even though one or two friends are saying but everything looks nice around you you feel that things are tough this is not where I belong there's something on the inside of you crying for more crying for greater crying for better the lord said it's the spirit of the eagle on the inside of you you are meant for high places and i hear the lord saying though you've come from a hard place you are going to a high place Amen. now this is very simple so remember the egg the shell and the eaglet the lord said you are coming from a hard place but you are going to a high place Amen. and that is what the spirit of the lord is saying to me take your eyes away from what it is now because the lord said i'm taking you beyond this and out of it Amen. in jesus mighty name Amen. i see you're smiling like somebody just gave you a jackpot talk to me what's going on oh wow um, i'm just so amazed that the lord is doing uh you've you've uh, you've prayed for me before um uh, about uh, my family. There's something going on there with um, my father uh, passed away in 2020 and there's some money of his that uh, has some contention there. Uh, but other than that, I do consultancies as well and it's been up and down. Sometimes you get the consultancy, sometimes you don't. But I always believe that uh, there's greater, there's something greater. Uh -huh. I can't place my finger to what it is, but I just feel it in my gut. Uh, I'm also in a contention because I want to move out from the place where I, I live. I just feel that I'm yeah. destined for greater. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so when you spoke that, you know, uh, it really connected to me. I think you should I just think change, you change your change name your to ego. Just change. Just change. <laughs> <laughs> because the because discontent, the discontent you, are you are sensing right now, now is indicative, indicative that the that season of change, change has come. Has come. Mm. The discontent, the yeah. dissatisfaction is just indicative that your season of change has come. And I see that the Lord said it's taking you from a hard place. I didn't even know you were in a season of transition. I didn't know you were thinking of changing your location. But the Spirit of the Lord just said to me, I didn't even know I preached, I ministered to you before. I don't keep faces, you know. But the Spirit of the Lord is saying, I should tell you in this season, just exactly what you're planning to do is, see, you are right on schedule. The desire to move, the Lord said to me, it's a discontent within the shell. Yeah. It's a discontent within the shell. And the Lord said, it is timed. It is timely. The Lord said, I will make it happen because I put that discontent within Ooh. you. You're coming from a hard place to a high place. Amen. Glory ah, be to God. Ah, from a hard place to, high place to a high place. <laughs> Keep that in mind. That's what you're destined for. Ooh. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Oh. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you. There's, thank such you. A, there's such a healing anointing that just hit the atmosphere now just when i was speaking to this wo woman the lord just said to me son i'm releasing the healing anointing over the atmosphere Amen. and i need to pray over everyone that is sick there's somebody the lord will lead me to pray for but i want to pray for everybody that is sick right now if there's anybody sick right now i just sense in my spirit 
that there's such a healing anointing over the atmosphere. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can you help me get down to the fourth slide or so? I sense in my spirit that there's a call. You, 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 you're sick in the body. I want to pray for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Just lift your hands, everyone who is having any kind of infirmity in your body. If you are having any kind of disease in your body. I want to pray for the sick right now. Just keep your hands up. And please, I'd like you to close your eyes. I'm not the healer. Everyone watching on YouTube, Facebook, I'd like everybody right now to just stretch your hands in my direction and close your eyes. I always tell people, don't look at me. I'm not a healer. Jesus is the healer. I'd like you to keep your eyes on the cross. I want you to remember that that was where it all happened. Jesus received 39 strokes. He was whipped and stripped he was wounded for your transgression wounded chastised beaten bruised and battered blood dripping down from his body's flesh torn apart on the cross all because of you he said by his stripes you were healed you were healed and so right now in the name of jesus with your eyes on jesus I ask the healing power of God gently to move into your space now. And I rebuke the infirmity, the disease, the pain. And I ask that the hand of Jesus take it from you now. He himself took away your infirmity. He took it. Yes, sir. He can't take it and you still have it. Therefore, I command that which he has taken to be taken from your body. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Satan lose control over your body. Amen. Right now, receive the touch of God. Amen. Receive the healing power of God and know it in your body. Amen. That you've been healed. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Be healed in your body. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we'll pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Now, quickly take a deep breath in and out and check. And see what the Lord has done. Just check and see what the Lord has done. Three of you have been healed already quickly. If you've been healed quickly, just let us know. I'm going to declare wholeness. You just notice in your body that the Lord has healed you. Just check it and just press your hand button. Let me see your hand. I'm going to pray wholeness over you. You just sensed in your spirit that Jesus has made you whole. Barbara, what is going on? I see you're raising your hands. Barbara, what's happening to you? Years ago, I had a brain aneurysm due to stress. Uh, I've been separated from my child for nine years. Uh, my ex-husband does not want me to speak to her or even see her. Uh, I relocated from, uh, from Kenya to America, but I'm from Uganda. Uh, I was It was due to domestic abuse. So when I came back to America pregnant, uh, I gave birth, then I had a brain aneurysm. And from then on, uh, I, I still have effects of the headaches. The headaches that come and don't go. But uh, today I believe I've been healed of that. And I have other things that have been attacking me, uh, setbacks. Uh, like, it's like I have a force after me. Like if I'm trying to advance, something comes back and takes me backwards. Okay. okay. I really, I really pray that I, I connect with my child. My child is the pain of my heart and keeps on bringing the pain every time. She's 13 now, about to be 14. Okay. I haven't seen her for nine years. Okay. So God is going to open the door. <clears throat> God is going to open the door of connection between you and your daughter. Father, I thank you for closing the gap between the mom and the daughter. I thank you for making it happen supernaturally. Let the father of that child no longer be able to keep her. Father, compel him to release the child to the mother. Lord, all the forces strengthening him and encouraging him not to release the daughter to the mom. I command the forces to be weakened and completely eliminated. Amen. And now I decree the restoration of your daughter back to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I command every demonic force on an assignment to destroy your life. 
I command such powers as I speak now, I command such powers to back off from you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I see such a force backing off from you right now. Amen. And I'm putting a separation between you and that force. Amen. I put the blood of Jesus between the two of you. In the name of Jesus, Barbara, from this moment, there is a blood separation Amen. between you and the force that have been assigned to kill you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. from this moment, yes. the assassination plan has just been destroyed. Amen. You will live and not die. Amen. You will embrace your daughter. You will oh, live together. Yes. You will live as mother and daughter. And from this moment, yes. I command everything working in the brain. I command everything that God has taken away today never to return again. Amen. The pain is gone. Amen. And nourishing is gone. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I sense like oil being poured on your head right now. The presence of God is on you right Yes, ma'am. Amen. The presence of God is on you right now. And I break the spell that I've been released over you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, the spell is broken. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, you Amen. will leave Amen. and you will not die. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we'll pray. Amen, amen and amen. So talk to me now. The pain is gone. The pain usually comes when when there's too much noise, like it, like it's still like it's after effect of the brain aneurysm. No more will no you more see will that you again. See. You're not. Are you having that now? Are you having no, that? No. You're not having it. Never again will Never you have again. it. Amen. It is gone and gone for good. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And here's what I want to say. The Lord said I should tell you, get rest, because I will do the rest. Oh. The Lord said, get rest. Your daughter is coming. Let, her, let your daughter not come to you and be taking you about in hospitals. So hear me again. The Lord said, begin. Don't worry about that. The Lord said to me, begin to give yourself rest. Find a way to go. What state are you in in the U.S.? In the U.S.? Maryland. Maryland. You, are, you are in Maryland from time to time. Find a way to get out of Maryland and go down to Orlando with your little child, with your child, and get down to some Disney stuff. Play, 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 play. Life is too serious. Second daughter that I have here, that the same father doesn't even want to know uh, about her. She always asks me, Mommy, let's go to Orlando, let's go to Disney. She well, tells me your that daughter always tell you, Let's go to Disney. Yes. And I just told you now that you should go to Orlando. <laughs> so that girl needs to that girl needs to know that there is a God who knows about her prayer request. I'm telling you this. The time has come. The Lord, that girl has been telling you, Mommy, let's go to Orlando. And I'm here telling you, I saw you coming from Maryland down to Orlando. Go play. Go and play. Go and life is too serious for you. You're stressing yourself up. Your daughter is coming home. Your daughter is coming home. She's coming home to you. But when she comes, don't let her come and be carrying you all over the place to the hospital because you stressed yourself up. You don't look like a mom of 13 year old. So keep yourself trendy. Look good. And get another husband. Is that okay? Let me come and join the two of you. Get another husband, sweetheart. You look too beautiful to be alone. And keep that. Is that Ugandan hair? Is that? Are you from Uganda? Yes, I'm from Uganda. I'm from Uganda, but originally from Rwanda. It's original. So just you combine all of it: Rwanda, Kenya, all of it. <laughs> just <laughs> American. American. <laughs> you have all the hair. Oh African American. With the with the Kenyan smile on you too. Somebody's already looking at you. There's a woman watching you right now. She's almost taking a picture of you to recommend you to her brother. So just, just, just let me know. Just let me know when you're ready. <laughs> Bless your heart. Bless Take your care heart. of yourself. Go to Orlando. All right. I'm happy you smiled. Okay. Bless your heart. Father, we thank you, man. Thank you, God, short, short time to... <laughs> 
We'll have two minutes. Who am I praying for? Thank you, Lord Jesus. Margaret and Stephanie. Father, I thank you for Margaret and Stephanie. In the name of Jesus, Margaret and Stephanie, I, I just saw the hand of the Lord. Yes, Margaret, you're looking at me, but what I, what I just saw was I just saw the hand of the Lord just came and rest on you. The hand of the Lord. As I'm talking right now, I see the symbol of the hand of the Lord resting upon you uh, in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, I thank you. And I see like grace just flowing into your body in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And I hear the Lord saying, I shall announce to you in this season. He said, I'm bringing you to a higher plane. Amen. I'm bringing you to a higher plane. Amen. I hear the Lord say, you are taking steps beyond where you are. I'm bringing you to a dimension that is beyond where you are right now. I hear the Lord saying to me, you've been crying for more. You've been crying for more. I don't know more of whatever. But the Lord is saying in this season, because my hand is upon you, I'm bringing you into the place, into the place where you will begin to see more happening like never before. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. I speak the blessing on uh, Amos Bennett in the name of Jesus I bless you Amen. Justina I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. I speak more blessings or more blessings Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, our God. Essie Saki, I speak the blessing on you all. I want to pray over everybody, but my heart is drawn to Alice. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We give it a glory and a praise. Let me just have Alice. I sense the Lord is pushing me in that direction right now. Thank you, Father God Almighty. I give you the praise. 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 I, I'm talking about Alice. Uh, leave the two of them, but I'm going to be praying first for Alice Kuenda. I, I hope. Did I get that? Yeah, don't mind me. So I, I, I'm drawn to the woman on the blue, the teal. Yeah. Yes. You, don't, don't worry. The two of you can stay, but I'm drawn to you that is on teal, the blue stuff. I'm coming, I'm coming over to Alice Nawila. I'm coming to you later, but I, let me speak first to... I, I'm coming. I'm coming. You hold on to the picture. God have mercy. <laughs> Oh, God, help me. Okay, no. All right. So, I want to speak to you, Alice Kumwenda. All right? And in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Father, for what I see concerning this woman. I bless you, my Father and my God. I thank you for the season that you are bringing this precious woman into. The season that you are bringing her into. I'm hearing the former things have come to pass. And I'm hearing I will do a new thing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now the picture that hits my spirit, Alice, the picture that really hit my spirit, I don't know why I'm seeing a snail first. I'm seeing a snail. I'm seeing a snail. And what I see is that snail moving slowly, slowly, slowly. And then all of a sudden, I couldn't see the snail again. And the next thing that I began to see is so amazing to me. I see the picture of a cheetah. And I'm like, God, what is this? From a snail to a cheetah. And the Lord is showing me one thing common to, that is different between the two of them. The cheetah is faster. The snail is slower. So I went from seeing a snail to seeing a cheetah. And I'm asking the Lord, what does this mean? Alice Kumwenda, the Lord said, I should speak to you. Of, I mean, the woman on Teal. The Lord said, I should tell you in this season. That I've seen you've gone through a season where things have been slow paced. Mm. Slow paced. And the Lord said, from this moment, it will no longer be slow. I'm hearing the Lord said, I'm bringing you into a season of speed. Amen. That things have happened so slow. But the Lord is saying in this season, I'm beginning to cause things to happen with speed. Amen. I'm hearing the latter part of your life, you will see greater things happening. Amen. And you'll be happening quickly Amen. and swiftly. Amen. I hear the Lord saying the snail speed period is over in your life. Amen. I hear the Lord said, I brought you now to the season of unusual speed. Amen. And that's what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Oh. Talk to me what's going on in your space there. Yeah, I know, is that your daughter? She's my niece. Oh, fantastic. fantastic. Yes. Lately, a lot of things have happened in my life. Hmm. Hmm. And there's been too much stagnation. Okay, in I, my get life. I get it. And whatever I try to do, it seems something just always has to go wrong. Hmm. And whenever I feel like I'm so close to getting something, something just happens and it goes wrong. 
<laughs> where, and it's been too where, much stagnation. Too much stagnation. Too much stagnation. Too much stagnation. Well, 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 I'm, well happy I'm happy the Lord happy. showed me a snail. A snail. You know a snail, right? That's all I saw. I saw that you've been in a snail stage in your life where everything has been moving slowly like a snail. Progress has been slow like a snail. But all of a sudden, I noticed that the snail was no more. I can't tell how it happened, but the snail was no more. And the next thing I see, I saw, was I saw a cheetah. And the Lord said to me, speed. And the Lord said, the latter part of your life, you will see things happening from this moment. You're going to start seeing things happening so quickly. Amen. So I'd like you to begin to praise God because you've got to come into the season of speed in your life. And that young girl beside you, your niece, she's going to make you happy. That girl is going to make you happy. I tell you, because God is going to... Listen, sweetheart, what do you do for a living? I'm currently job hunting. Job hunting. Job hunting. Job hunting. <laughs> Well, I see God giving you a good job and by the way, a good husband. <laughs> I saw you smile now. Good husband. Hmm? Listen, stay close to this young girl. She's going to make you proud. This girl is going to be like your Ruth. You are going to be like a Naomi. This girl is going to be like a Ruth to you. And sweetheart, the name Boaz. Go and check the name Boaz in the Bible. Have you heard about a man called Boaz in the Bible? Yes. You know Boaz? The spirit the of Boaz. Spirit. What God did for Ruth, how God blessed her with Boaz, check out for Boaz. God is sending a Boaz into your life. A Boaz. Is that okay? And if you're going to be a Boaz, you're going to have a Boaz, make sure you are also like a Ruth. Ruth made sure that she was taking care of an old woman in her life. She was sowing into the life of an old woman called Naomi. She kept blessing an older woman. And that is the key. If you want to attract a Boaz, find an older woman and begin to bless her from your income. And get ready for your boys. God bless you, Father. Thank you for this family. I decree speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father, because things will begin to move quickly from this moment. Amen. In Jesus' name, and I thank you for your precious daughter. Thank you for the husband you're bringing her way. In Jesus' mighty name, and I thank you, Father God, because you'll not be jump hunting again. I bring the job in your direction. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. Amen. Alice Nawila, I need to round up with you now. I see you're super excited. Ah, Alice, talk to me. What? What? Why are you so excited? Can I have her? I'm, I'm happy that you blocked the team. Oh my oh God! My God, God, God has God found, has you. found you. you. Yes. So, so what do you want me to pray for now in one minute? What do you want me to pray for in one minute? Because listen to me. Listen to me carefully. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Um, I see you're smiling. I see you're super excited. Ah, but 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 listen to me. I think I think smiling, laughing is a gift God gave to you to mask the season of pain. Because what I see is a woman who um she's cried a lot in the secret, but when she's with people, she's the life of the party. People draw energy from you, but when you are alone. You are left with no one to comfort you. Uh, you cry alone. I see that you've been through moments of tears. Uh, but the Spirit of the Lord is saying to me, I gave you laughter to mask up the season of pain you've been going through. And the Lord said, I've been aware of the pain you've been going through, even that which causes you to stay awake in the night where you cry. I hear the Lord said, I have seen that season. And I hear the Lord saying to me, I've come to help. I've come to rescue you. I've come to rescue you from that season. Say it the word of a living God. What do you want me to pray about? Talk to me about it. I want to move out of this company. I want a new job. I have projects that I started. I've been using the house for the past six years. I haven't completed. I've got wow. plots that I need to develop. I've, I'm divorced. And my son doesn't get support from his father. But I know he has his father who gave me. And that is Jesus. So... I just want development in my life. Oh my, oh God. my God. Where are you Where? based? In London. Huh? 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 
Where are you based? Are you based? I'm in Zambia. I want to pray for you right now. Your father God said I should tell you I care about you. And I hear your father God saying to me, in this season, as you move into the seventh year, I hear the Lord saying, this is going to be the season of the perfection of what you started six years ago. I hear the Lord saying to me, over the next 12 months, I will bring you such dimension of blessing, such that the project will be supernaturally completed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I decree from this moment, from this moment, I decree that the Lord brings speed and acceleration into your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever has caused you pain, the Lord take away from your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Lord grant you your heart's desires. In Jesus' mighty name we'll pray. Amen and amen. Well, everybody, this is how much time we've got for today. God bless you and bless your family and bless amen. your son. And send him a good father in the name of... I bless your children, every one of them. In Jesus' mighty name we'll pray. Amen. I love you. Keep the smiles on. And true joy locates you in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's a new season. You will finish what you've started. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Amen. I love you until Amen. I see you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray for everybody. Lift your hands up. I want to pray for you, Father. I speak over Ketiwe. I thank you for Winsome. I thank you, Father God, for Barbara. I thank you, Father God, for Mercy. I thank you, Father, for Elijah. Thank you, Father God Almighty, for Zuan. Thank you, Father, for Stella, Dr. May. Thank you, my God, for Malambo. Thank you, my God and Father, for Teresa, Judith, Allison. Thank you for Usaku. Thank you for everyone on Facebook, on YouTube. You. Glory be to your holy name, my God, for Olivia, Mayo, Wab, Bridget. Uh, thank you, Father God, for Emilia. Thank you for Gideon. I speak the blessing on all of you. Amen. In Jesus the Christ, mighty and matchless name, we'll pray. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Never forget to keep on keeping on. I love you. changing status Amen. from this place of being despised yeah, yeah, to a place of being honored. Amen. I hear the Lord saying to me that I am making you the first in your generation that will break into dimensions of wealth like nobody else has ever broken Amen. into say the spirit of a living God. Pastor, that's very true. That's very true. In my family, I'm like the breadwinner right now because I'm in the USA and everybody is relying on me, but things are not really working out. For some reason, I've been having a very smelly discharge. Pastor Sam just said out of nowhere, there's someone here that has a smelly discharge. He said, you can't even go out. And I'm like, oh yes, that's me. And he said, it's gone. And since that three days ago, the smell has gone. 5.50 a.m. West African time. It will be a good time for us to come together in the place of prayer. As we engage the God of heaven for healings, for miracles, for signs and wonders. What God is doing for others, God will do for you. Amen. It's your time and it's your turn to testify. For with our God, yes. all things are possible. Yes.